presentation, less than 10 minutes. So we'll be going through the affordable housing structure as we have in Ghana. So Ghana now has a, a staggering over 2 million uh, units of housing that we have to fill. And our target is that we do this within the next four years. That's quite an ambitious um, target that we've set for ourselves. For a home to be affordable too, the government realizes that not more than 30% of um, the home buyer's income should be uh, attributed to housing. But currently, most Ghanaians are actually double paying with, with homes because they are renting and also self-financing their homes. With a target that we have set for ourselves, it means that Ghana needs to be building about 400,000 homes every year. Currently, we are doing less than 50% of that. With that said, the government of Ghana is inviting uh, the private sector to help us in terms of delivering these homes. This is just um, a, a, a graphical to show you how um, the housing situation gets worse by the day. Currently, we have about 50% of the population of Ghana living in urban areas uh, because of the rural urban migration. Meanwhile, the housing situation is not improving in these areas as well. We estimate that 60% of Ghanaians will not be able to afford homes without government support. We also estimate that about 35% will not even be able to buy homes, even with government subsidies. Only 5% of the population are able to buy their own homes without any government support. So the target of the government is the 60%. How do we help these 60% achieve um, housing? This is just um, a picture of a settlement, a shaman. For those of you who are, who are familiar with uh, the Greater Accra region, this is right in the heart of the capital. And uh, we seek to change, change this to um, more like what is happening uh, around the Tetokashi area. So this is just comparing what we have in Old Fadama to what uh, currently is, is happening. In the past, we've tried several um, interventions including uh, affordable housing units in uh, six different regions in the, in the two, between 2000 and 2008 by the former president. Um, we've also had um, the infamous Seglame housing project um, by the, uh, the former NDC government, which all did not seem to achieve what uh, we need because remember the number, 400,000 homes, and we are looking at these about 5,000 which is a drop in the ocean. So there's a new paradigm shift that the government is uh, introducing to help us to meet this. The goal is to provide affordable housing in partnership with the private sector, and also to improve on the technology that we use in Ghana. Right now in Ghana, everything, most homes are built with concrete. Um, for those of you, for those of you who live in England, you know that concrete homes are a bit outmoded now. So we are looking at ways that we'll be able to uh, use modern technology to build so that in the short term, we'll be able to reduce the deficit by at least 10%. So the current framework that the government is working on is one that to secure land banks for developers and also to provide um, the horizontal infrastructure, as well as provide tax incentives. So if you are interested in investing in homes, in housing in Ghana now, the government will give you land for free. Also, the government will take care of the horizontal infrastructure in terms of utilities and then the roads, and also to provide tax incentives in terms of if you are uh, importing um, machinery, et cetera, into the country, you have some tax breaks as well. 
Also, the government have introduced um, uh, a, a subsidy uh, for the demand, the supply side, where banks are encouraged to give mortgages at discount rates. Currently, we are looking at about 11.9%. This is still high, but if you compare it to what we have of over 30% for five years, as compared to about 11% for about 20 years, that is a huge uh, movement of the needle. But we are looking at even putting it um, down further. So this is just a, uh, uh, an example to show you what, what you get if you're investing in homes. You get secured land, you get the infrastructure, and you get tax exemptions to aid the more people in the private sector to get into housing. State housing company, as a company, we have secured land banks in almost all the regions, in Wa, Tamale, Bogatanga, Gorso, Kumase, Kuporudia, Cape Coast, everywhere. So uh, as my, my team is here, if you're interested in investing in housing in Ghana, we're more than happy to have further discussion with you. So we have some specifications that the government requires um, if you are interested in buying homes. Because we are looking at making it affordable, we are saying that a one-bedroom studio, you should not be selling it for about $12,000. And a four bed, uh, the three-bedroom, we have the square foot area, should not be selling for more than $37,000. We believe that if we are able to achieve this price point, which uh, we've checked with our BOQs and everything to make sure that it is achievable in Ghana. We will be able to meet the 30% income uh, bracket that we have set for ourselves as a country. Currently, we are, uh, we are moving in full speed this month to do uh, in the greater Accra region, in the Pukwasi area. We have 200 acres of land that we are developing now, and also in the Dedeswa region, in the in near Kumasi also another 200 acres of land that we are currently working on and we've, we've had some tremendous interest from the private sector that we are moving full speed with. So if you are here and you are interested, please, um, let's talk about it. So just to give you a, 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 an idea in terms of what currently we are doing, now these are homes, this is what we call the legacy court in Adenta that State Housing has constructed and uh, we are delivering to their proud homeowners at the end of this month. So these are uh, examples of apartment blocks that uh, we are delivering to homeowners as we speak. So just in summary, the target is 60% of Ghanaians who would be able to afford a home with government su support. And the government is supporting the private sector with secured land banks, with, um, with cheap mortgages, also with tax exemptions, as well as providing off-site infrastructure if you're interested in homes in Ghana. So this is my contact information. I'll leave it on the board uh, for as long as EMC will allow it. Ghana is open for business. I'm hoping that by the end of this summit, we'll have most of you moving in to help us address our housing challenges. Thank you so much. Thank you.